Hey guys, I have a question. Do you ever get tired of when people have MySpace pics or whatever and they show you only default pics of this? Like, oh yeah, look at my cleavage, look at my cleavage, I'm so sexy. Or the classic that looks like this. They suck in their gut <gasps> and then, oops, I have a wannabe woman's ass. Yeah, I get tired of that. You know what? I've come to terms with a few things. So I'm gonna share that with you. Uh, firstly, very broad shoulders. Um, oh, let's try it from this angle. These arms are still huge. Muscle has been replaced with fat and that fat has not gone anywhere. You can see the abdomen and the abdomen is square. It's, it's, it's straight all the way down, unless I suck in my gut and maybe I'll look like a girl. I don't know. It doesn't really work for me, um, which is why I tend to wear clothes. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not an autogynophile. I'm not one who believes in, oh, I'm going to make myself look so sexy for you because I want to get off to my own body. No, I've, I've come to terms with a few things. Uh, one thing I came to terms with is the fact that I may not actually have been born um, this way, born uh, transsexual. I might have actually been created from my environment uh, or even either internal or external. And when I mean um, external, I mean from, from those around me or from events, experiences. And when I mean internal, I mean from chemistry uh, going on inside me. It could be any number of things, unfortunately. It's really hard to narrow that down. So I've just resigned myself to the fact that I'm comfortable the way I am and I'm not going to change. However, I'm going to point out something. Um, there are many of those, or actually, no, the majority of us transsexuals weren't born this way. I guarantee it. And you know how I'm going to prove it? I'm going to prove it by this. You know, you know the argument. The argument is that... Me. No, hold on. There you go. Now you can see my face. Um, the argument is that maybe we were exposed to too much estrogen in the womb or not enough testosterone in the womb. Well, you want to prove it? Look at this. It's not 100%, but it's a good idea to give you an idea where you are. Um, this is something I learned. Uh, it's a forensics detail in order to identify skeletons. The index finger to the ring finger, the ring finger is always going to be longer than the index finger with genetic males, whereas it's either going to be equal or vice versa with genetic females. Now, that's not always going to be the case, but it typically is. Um, usually, it's about... 99% with genetic males, something close to that, higher 90s. Um, whereas with genetic females, it's actually about 90%. Um, there's some evidence that some lesbians actually have longer ring fingers, which might indicate more testosterone in the, in the womb. Uh, while if there are genetic males who do have shorter ring finger instead of longer uh, index finger, um, the, re the reason for that would be that they didn't get enough testosterone in the womb. It would be a lack of testosterone. And I've encountered one transsexual who has demonstrated that. She's also hypogonadic, interestingly enough. So if you have a longer ring finger, chances are you are the way you are because of environment, either internal or external. And this could have occurred at any time in your life. So there's really no uh, reason to say, or that, that excuse for I'm transgender because of what happened in my, in my mother's womb, there may be no evidence for that. Now then, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like this, I'm, I'm, I'm naked because I'm trying to show you that this is what my body looks like, and I don't normally do that. Um, I'm also trying to show you, if you notice, I'm wearing makeup on half of my face, only half of my face, and uh, the reason for that is that I want you to see Basically, I'm indulging my vanity. Um, this is where I am right now in my transition. You can see that I still have a, a, a very feminine but masculine face. That hasn't changed. And then with makeup, of course, all dragged out, I look more feminine. And of course, the longer hair definitely makes that work for me. But <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it doesn't work for everybody. But um, there you are. But, um, what I wanted to point out is that, um, I, I just want to state that I don't think that this influx of trans youth is actually legitimate. And I'm saying that because I've noticed that within the last six years, 
the num number of youth to um, come out as transgendered uh, has actually doubled within the last six years. And I think that that's actually a symptom of society. And there are many reasons for that. And if you have any questions about it, I can tell you about it. I already, I already have blogs about it. I even have, um, I've suggested this even in other videos before. But uh, I just don't think that there are so many legitimate young trans people. So I, I'm not here to inspire you to come out and transition. I'm here to make, yourself, make you question yourself about whether or not you really are transgendered. And maybe not, you may actually be instead genderqueer. And if you don't know what genderqueer is, look it up. But um, the fact of the matter is, uh, not all of us really are transgendered. I personally have just come to turn to the fact that I'm more comfortable as a female. But that might not have always have been. If certain events had changed in my life, who knows, I could have turned out to be just a very feminine male. Or just gay or whatever, I don't know. In any case, um, I've come to terms with that and I've at least challenged that. And what I like to do is ask you all to challenge yourself for your reasons, your motivations for transitioning, especially the youth, especially those young ones who are reaching out to everybody and saying, I see, I see these people in porn and they really seem to be able to do it. Why can't I be it? Why can't I be sexy like that? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you with that and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.